African bell carol. That's it. We're just going to go over this piece because I love it. And I want to make sure we go through every uh, measure of this piece, okay? I'm going to take it pretty slow at first. Uh, the French horn has beautiful melody lines here. Now, as I've said in past videos, you're not going to record the whole piece most likely at home. You're just going to record snippets. So if something's too high, I do want you to practice and try to get it, but you do not have to play all of it, okay? Let me just adjust something on the camera here. There we go. Now I can see my face. All right, so um, you don't start playing until 33. 33 has a cool melody line. One. <laughs> It's pretty low. We're starting on that D bomb. So it starts on beat two. One, two, three. Um, okay. So now I'm going to put the metronome on. Bum, ba, da, da. We're going to start at 110, okay? We will take it faster than this when you record it, but I want to give you a good way to practice it. One, two, three. Keep going. Eh. stop right at 57. I do want to make a note at 36 I did not get down to that B flat. Oh, yeah, not hitting it. Yeah, you need to get those three notes. Yeah, I really feel like that B flat is not sounding good on this instrument. All right, so as you see at 49 I went pretty high. I got up to that C sharp. Okay, on this French horn I play at one and two. Cameron, you probably have a different fingering on that. And for the high D on French horn, I do play first valve. You can play it open. I just am used to first valve because that's what trumpet does. But um, I guess it kind of works on the situation. Um, I practiced 57 a number of times today to make sure I had it down, but listen to it on the piano. And then that's 65, okay? So a couple things to note here. If you really like this part, because this is amazing, and alto saxophones have this too, if you really want to play this and you can't hit those high notes, write every note down. I hate telling you to do this, but you can write every letter name in and play it down low. So instead of playing... Instead of getting up that high, you could go... play it down low like that okay I am gonna play it up high for um, this time when we play it at 57 but we're not playing it that uh, fast remember this is your day then we're playing probably notice something here. Uh, 65 to 73 is exactly the same as 89 to the end. Okay? One of the key notes to get in there is that C sharp. Um, yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, getting that C sharp in there. 
Okay, so getting that in there and making that happen. Okay, all right, so let's go back to the beginning. Okay, I'm going to try to take this a little faster now. This is 120. And we're just going to go up to 57 again. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 33, and. Okay, hit that note at 57. And remember, if you're going down low, this is what it will sound like going up to that. This is four measures before 57. Okay, and you notice I did hit that B flat in the beginning. What I did was, and I forgot this technique, but I dropped my jaw a little bit opened up a little bit more and that helps the note come out when it's a low note. All right, if you notice on the French horn, I feel like my low notes sound better than my high notes. That's because I probably said this in a previous video, but I'm traditionally a tuba player. I play a lot of trumpet and trombone here. Um, I have been working on these French horn parts for you guys, but uh, yes, uh, I know you guys are better at some of this music than I am, but I do want to give you something to practice with. And I really do hope you enjoy this piece, even if you're able to play. Um, Let's say, well, 33 to 41 is pretty easy because it's low. And even if you could play 57 down low, that would be amazing, okay, when we start recording. But I'm um, really looking forward to my French Horn Army, all three of you. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy practicing. Have a great day.